Section 2 of the Petition for Injunction for Protection Against Domestic Violence begins at the bottom of page 1 and ends on page 2 of the form. This section requests information about the respondent in this case, that is, the person you wish to be protected from. This section must be completed. Subsection 1 of Section 2 requests the respondent's current address, as well as the respondent's driver's license number, if known. Subsection 2 of Section 2 asks you to choose the nature of the relationship between you and the respondent. There are five different choices. Read the choices carefully and select the relationship that is most accurate between you and the respondent. If there is additional information requested for the specific relationship that best describes the relationship between you and the respondent, make sure to provide the additional information requested. Subsection 3 of Section 2 asks for the date that you first met the respondent. If you do not know the exact day, month, and year, provide the best information that you have available regarding the approximate date that you and the respondent first met. Subsection 4 of Section 2 requests the name of the respondent's last known place of employment, that is, the business that he or she was working for, as well as the address for that business and the working hours that the respondent is or was working for that business. Subsection 5 of Section 2 requests the physical description of the respondent. Please provide as much detail as possible in the physical description of the respondent. The more information that you are able to provide, the more effectively law enforcement may be able to identify and therefore protect you from the respondent. Subsection six of section two requests any other names that the respondent goes by, including aliases and or nicknames. And subsection seven requests information about the respondent's attorney, including name, address, and telephone number. If you do not know whether the respondent has an attorney, write unknown in the space provided. If you know that the respondent does not have an attorney, write none in the space provided. 